Number 61. Soccer is played with a round ball having a circumference between 27 and 28 inches and a weight between 14 and 16 ounces. What are these specifications in units of centimeters and grams? Okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing our first actual conversion. Woohoo! <laughs> Getting to the good stuff. So, they say that this soccer ball, right? So let's just say here, here's my soccer ball. It's got those like, you know, little squares or whatever it's got, but you got, you guys know. Okay. So they're saying that it has a circumference and a circumference is just the, basically the perimeter of the soccer ball. So it's the outside air, you know, space. So they're saying that it has a circumference between 27 to 28 inches and it can have a mass. It has a weight, uh, anywhere between 14 to 16 ounces. Now, we just have to convert that into centimeters and grams. So the first things first is which one will be converted to centimeters and which one will be converted into grams. Well, inches is a type of length. So this would be converted into centimeters, cm, because centimeters is also a length. The other one, ounces, oz, is a unit for a mass and so is grams. So I will convert these into grams. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to convert the 27 um, inches and the 28 inches into centimeters. So they're both going to centimeters. All right. So the first thing we got to do is we got to find the conversion factor. So I look on this handy dandy common conversion factor chart and I see if I could have any conversion factor between inches and centimeters. And let's see, I'm going to look at length. And if I see here, the second one down, it says one inch equals 2.54 centimeters exactly. So that's the conversion factor that I'm going to use. One inch equals 2.54, ooh, 2.54 centimeters. Now, how do we write this in chemistry? because we can't really use this for mathematical purposes, so we like to write them in terms of ratios, which is just kind of like a fraction. So I can say that one inch is equal to, use those fractions, 2.54 cm, and since they're equal to each other, I could flip them. So I can use the other conversion as well, 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. Now, the, which one you're going to use depends on what type of question you were given. So I'll show you that in two seconds. So we got to do this twice. We got to take the 27 inches and convert it into centimeters, and then we take the 28 inches and convert it into centimeters. So let's start with 27. So we have 27 inches, and we want to go from one unit to another. Whenever we do converting, so if we are converting at all, in this whole course, we will always be multiplying by a ratio. So remember that, guys. It's always multiply by your ratio. So that's unit one on the top and the second unit on the bottom, number two. So it's always multiply by a ratio. We got our ratio, which is this part, right? We got our ratio, but now we just got to figure out which one to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my given, so this is my given, and I multiply by a ratio. Now remember, if you don't want the unit that you start with, you always put it on the opposite side. You see this all the time with numbers, right? If we have a 4 and we times it by 1 over 4, what happens to the 4s? They cancel because it's the same number. If we had an 8 and we times it by 1 over 8, the 8s will cancel. The same thing with variables or letters. If I had an A and I times it by 1 over A, the A would cancel. So it's the same idea here. I'm starting with inches, so I need to put inches on the bottom to cancel it out. And centimeters should go on the top. Now I have the start of my conversion factor. I just have to plug in the right numbers. 1 inch... So the one has to go here. The one goes where the inches are, and that's on the bottom. 2.54 centimeters, that goes on the top. 
So we're basically using this conversion. We're not using the other one because we wanted inches on the bottom. So now I'm going to do my math. And we have to take into consideration how many sig figs you have. Now, over here I'm going to put, when converting, your answer will have the same amount. So I just put same amount of sig figs that you started with. So you don't take into consideration any conversion factor sig figs. So this 2.54, don't even look at it. Any of these numbers, don't look at them for sig figs. You only look at what you're starting with. So here they gave you 27. So there's two sig figs here. So my answer should have only two sig figs. So let's go 27 times 2.54. You get on the calculator, you get 68. 0.58, but now I just have to round, so the 6 and the 8 will stay. The 5 tells me that that 8 will turn into a 9. So this, my first answer would be 69 centimeters. So that's what it means. 27 inches is 69 centimeters. So that's the answer to the first one. Now we just got to do it again. This one should be a little bit quicker. You start off with 28 inches, and you do the same exact conversion. Times by a ratio. You don't want inches that goes on the bottom, centimeters up top. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. The inches will cancel, and I should have canceled them out up top here, to, just to show you guys that they will cancel. And that's why you're left with centimeters. So now we do 28 times 2.54. And I get 71.12. But I have two sig figs, so I need two sig figs at the end. So it would be the 7 and the 1. The 1 next door tells me that the 1 has to stay, so it's 71 centimeters. So that's the answer to the first part. They said, what are these specifications in units of centimeters? Well, this would be between... 69 and 71 centimeters. That's the first part. Now we have to find out what 14 and 16 ounces are in grams. So let's go for it. That's part number two. We have 14 ounces and 16 ounces. And we just got to find out what each one of them is in grams grams. And I'm just going to put over here that this one was equal to 71 centimeters. Okie dokie. So now I got to go to the chart and see what the conversion between ounces and grams are. I know that this is a mass, so I'm looking in the mass category. And let's see, is there one between ounces and grams? Now for this, I'm not looking at this one. This is pounds and grams. And now there's two different types of ounces and grams. We gotta figure out which one we're gonna use. We're actually going to use this one because a troy ounce is only used in measurements with metals. This is a soccer ball. So you would use this conversion factor. And generally speaking, on your, like if your teacher or your professor gives you a chart, you would see the 28.349. Sometimes they don't even show the 31.103. So you'll usually generally see the, the 28 one. So I'm just going to write that over here. Now I'm just going to say one ounce could be equal to 28.349 grams. And now since they're equal... I can say the other one as well, 28.349 grams is equal to one ounce. So let's start our first conversion. We have 14 ounces. Just like in before, we're converting so we times by a fraction and a ratio. We don't want ounces, so that has to go on the opposite side, which leaves the grams to be up top. And the grams have the 28.349, and the ounces have the 1. So 1 has to go with ounces. 
28.349 has to go with grams. Sig figs, well, it's all what you start with. There were two sig figs here, the one and the four. So my answer should have two sig figs. So when I do 14 times 28.349, I get this big number, 396.8. 8, 6, but now let's just round it to two sig figs. So it would be the 3 and the 9. This 6 tells me that I will increase the 9 to a 10. So this is really 400. I have to keep the 0 here to replace the, um, to make it 400 and not 40. But this would be only two sig figs. So this is the trick where you have to turn it into scientific notation if you want to keep the sig fig. So this would be 4.0 times 10 to the second grams because the ounces cancel and you're left with grams. So this is the answer to the first part, 4.0 times 10 to the second. Okay. Now we just got to do the same thing for 16, but this one would be a little bit easier. Let me put this one, I feel like I'm going all over with this one. I have a little bit of room up here. So I'm going to say 16 ounces times, by the ratio, ounces should go on the bottom, grams should go up on the top. We're using not the troy ounce, the other one. So it would be 28.349 is equal to one ounce cross out the ounces because they literally cancel out and then 16 times 28.349 you get 453.584 but we need two sig figs so the four and the five stay the three will turn the five still into a five it's not five or greater so this would just be 450, and this would be two sig figs. So you don't have to put this one into scientific notation. So this would be 450. Let me just make this a little bit. 450. Okay. So the weights would be between 4.0 times 10 to the second grams to... 450, so basically 400 to 450 grams would be the weight in grams instead of ounces. And those are your two answers. So this one is the one, the new units in centimeters, 69 and 70. The other one is 400 to 450 in grams. Guys, I hope this helped a lot. If it did, click that subscribe button, or you can just leave us a comment, or you can just give us a like. Any form of communication shows us that you guys are doing awesome. And that's what we want to hear. We do this for you guys to make sure that you guys know what you're doing. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next question. It was my pleasure. I will see you later. Bye-bye.